Welcome, my friend. This practice I'm sharing with you today is for those mornings when you're just ready to breathe and flow with your body. Use this yoga to find your beat and set the amazing tone of mind-body connection, breath awareness for your day ahead. I'll join you seated at the back of your mat with your hips to your heels. Relax your hips to your heels. Find that beautiful long spine of yours. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Smooth, steady breath in. Exhale, relax your shoulders back and down. Breathe in. Breathe in, circle your fingertips up to the sky. And exhale, fold forward into child's pose. Breathe in. And exhale, round forward into cat. Breathe in, lower your belly, lift your gaze for cow. Exhale, release hips to heel. Breathe in. And exhale, round forward, this time lower your hips down through center, all the way to the mat. Slide your palms forward for Sphinx Pose. And then begin to shift your weight into your left palm, draw your right heel towards your seat, and then we'll circle your right arm up and back to clasp the front side of your ankle. Flex your foot, taking half bow pose. And on your exhale, draw your foot back, lifting your heart. Keep the in line with your hip. On the next exhale, slowly lower everything to the mat and release your foot. Slide your palms underneath your shoulders and press yourself back into child's pose. Breathe in. And on your exhale, round through, coming into cat pose and lowering your hips down through center. We're taking that half bow pose on the second side. Slide your palms forward, elbows underneath your shoulders. Draw that left heel towards your seat. Circle your left arm up and back to clasp the outside of your foot around your ankle. Flex your foot, breathe in. And on your exhale, kick that foot back. Knee stays in line with your hip. On your exhale, soften. Release your back foot. Slide your palms underneath your shoulders and press yourself back into child's pose. Breathe in. And exhale, round forward as you're coming into cat. Lowering your hips all the way to the earth. This time we're taking full bow pose. Hips grounded to the earth. Knees hip distance. And draw both your heels towards your seat. Reach your arms back to clasp the outside of your ankles. Breathe in. And on the exhale, begin to kick back into your feet as you slowly peel your upper body off the mat. Flex your feet, really kick back, lift your heart, draw those shoulder blades back. Smooth, even breaths. On the exhale, slowly lower everything to the mat. Release your tops of feet, slide your palms underneath your shoulders and press yourself back into child's pose. And rock your hips side to side. Breathe in, exhale, round through, lowering your hips down. Palms stay just as they are, and lift up into upward facing dog. Let that heart shine. Press your hips up to downward facing dog. From our down dog, we're gonna come to our tippy toes and wave our spine forward, coming into plank pose. And then press your hips up to downward facing dog. Let's take that again. Come to your tippy toes and ripple through your spine, coming into plank pose. And lift your hips up to down dog. Once more, nice and slow, ripple through your spine, plank pose. And intentionally lift those hips up to down dog. Now 
from here, glance to the front of the mat, step one foot forward and then the other coming into forward fold. Breathe in, lift halfway, nice flat back. Exhale, melt chest to thighs. Big breath in, circling fingertips down around and up. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. And let's take that right back up. Breathe in, circle fingertips up to the sky. And exhale, cactus arms side to side. Press those elbows back as you lower them down. Breathe in, circle fingertips up to the sky. And exhale, swan dive forward, hinging forward at your hips. Breathe in, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, hinge forward. Mm. Once more, breathe in, lift halfway. Lengthen your crown of head forward, tail and lengthens back. And exhale, hinge forward. Breathe in, lift halfway, finding your nice long spine. Exhale, hinge. Bring fingertips to frame your front foot. And we'll step your right foot back. Lower back knee to the mat. Top of foot releases to the mat. Big breath in to circle fingertips up to the sky. Low lunge, lift your heart, reach your fingertips back. And exhale, lower hands to frame your front foot. Bend into your back knee, bring your heel towards your seat. Circle your left arm up and back to clasp your foot. Quad stretch. Kick into your back foot. Look at that beautiful ocean. With control, release your back foot. Bring hand to frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes, press up, and we'll step back for plank pose. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Big, beautiful breath and upward facing dog. Using the muscles of your pelvic floor, lift your hips to downward facing dog. Now step your right foot forward. Lower your back heel to the mat. Ensure your front knee is in line with your ankle, not going past. And then extend those fingertips up to the sky with your inhale. Shoulder heads draw back. Pinky fingers spin forward. Exhale, lower hands to frame your front foot. Plant your left palm to the mat. Draw your left heel towards your seat and circle that right arm up and back to clasp that foot. Taking your quad stretch on the second side. And enjoy that opening. Hips melt forward and down. With control, release your back foot. Bring hands to frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes, press up. We'll step your back foot to meet the front this time and lower into forward fold. Breathe and lift halfway. Exhale, melt chest to thighs. Big breath in, circling three dips down around and up. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart center. We are going to move into a balancing pose, into tree pose. So begin to shift your weight into your left sole of foot. And when you're ready, bring your sole of foot to your ankle, your calf, or take a hold of your foot and bring it to your inner thigh. Hands can come prayer to heart center. Find your dristi. If it's within your practice, extend your fingertips up to the sky. Everything hugging into the midline. That sole foot pressing into your thigh, thigh foot pressing back. Lower belly firms up and then lengthen your tailbone towards the earth. Crown of head reaches up, shoulder blades draw down your back. Now with control, draw your knee in towards your chest. And then we're going to transition into warrior three pose. So begin to lean your torso forward as you extend your back leg back. Arms can stay extended long or bring hands to prayer at heart. Back foot is flexed. Toes point down towards the earth to help square up your hip points. Keeping them square to the earth. And with control, step your back foot back. Hands prayer to heart. And then extend your fingertips up, up to the sky. High lunge. Exhale, lower hands to frame your foot. Go ahead and square your hips. Weight evenly distributed with fingertips to the mat. Extend your front leg and hinge forward at your hips. Breathe in, bend into your front knee, lift your heart, hips square, and sink into the pose. And exhale, straighten your front leg, hinge forward at your hips. Breathe in, lift your heart, shoulder blades draw down your back. 
and exhale, straighten your front leg, hinge over that front leg. Breathe in, finding your runner's lunge. Go ahead and straighten your front leg. We're gonna transition into dancer pose. So go ahead and step your back foot in just a little. Rise up, hip square to the front of the mat. Bend into your right knee, bringing your right heel towards your seat. Right hand comes to clasp your foot. Keep knees hip distance. Then transition your hand to the inside of your foot. Left palm faces forward. Slowly begin to kick back into your back foot as you lift your left arm towards the sky. Try not to lean forward, just kick that back foot back. Keep your heart lifted. You got this, find that dristy point. Breathe as you hold. Feel all those little micro movements happening to help support you in this balancing pose. And when you're ready, slowly begin to soften. Then slowly draw your knee in towards your chest, both fingertips lift up to the sky. Knee hugs in, lift it up, 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 and then slowly lower your foot to the mat, hands lower, prayer to heart. Breathe in. And exhale, release. Big breath in, circling fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, swan, dive forward, forward fold. Fingertips to the mat. Breathe in, lift halfway, nice flat back. Exhale, hinge forward. Fingertips to the mat, step back, finding your plank pose. Take your flow, chaturanga. Upward facing dog to down dog. Glance to the front of the mat. Step one foot forward and then the other. Forward fold. Breathe in, lift halfway. Exhale, hinge. Breathe in, circle fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Let's take tree pose on the second side. Begin to shift your weight into your right solo foot. And when you're ready, you'll bring your left foot to your ankle, your calf, or grabbing a hold of your ankle to place your foot to your inner thigh. Find your dristy, hands prayer to heart. Extending fingertips up to the sky if it's accessible. Hug everything into the bend line. Pinky fingers spin forward. Shoulders square, shoulders relaxing back and down. That'll work. With control, release and draw your right knee in towards your chest. Lift it up, up, up. We're going to transition into our warrior three pose. So slowly begin to lean your torso forward as you extend your leg back behind you. Hands can stay extended long or bring your hands prayer at heart. Nice and slow, intentional movement. Flex your back foot. Heel reaching back, crown head reaching forward. Point your toes down towards the earth. Breathe as you hold. Now with control, lower your back foot to the mat. Inhale, extend your fingertips up to the sky for your high lunge. Exhale, lower hands there, frame your front foot. And exhale, straighten your front leg, hinging forward over that front leg. Breathe in, lift your heart, finding runner's lunge, hips square, sinking into the pulse. And exhale, straighten that front leg, hinge forward. Breathe in, lift your heart, hips sink. And exhale, hinge over your extended front leg. Breathe in, lift your heart, runner's lunge. Exhale, strain that front leg. Preparing for dancer pose. So go ahead and bring your back foot in. We'll rise up, hands prayer to heart. Begin to draw your left heel towards your seat. Left hand comes to clasp the outside of your back foot, keeping your left knee in line with your hip. 
Then transition, bring your hand to the inside of your foot. And when you're ready, begin to kick your back foot back. Continue to lift your heart as you lift your back leg. Slowly extend your front arm forward. Keep your heart lifted. Have the intention of keeping your hips square. Feel that amazing stretch in your shoulder. The strength in your leg. Beautiful, my friend. Now with control, you to soften your back knee as you lift your heart. Release your back foot and draw that left knee in towards your chest. Lift it up, up, up. And exhale, lower a foot to the mat. Hands prayer to heart. Take a moment here with hands prayer to heart to feel into your body, feeling the movement, the strength you have cultivated. Feel your heartbeat. Notice the rhythm of your breath. Breathe it, circling fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward, hinging forward at your hip crease. Forward fold. Heel to your feet a little wider than hip distance. Clasp opposite elbows. We'll just hang it out here in forward fold. Allow that upper body to completely relax and release. Your head weighs heavy, neck is soft. Slight bend in your knees. And slowly begin to tip rock side to side. Drawing your left elbow towards your right knee and your right elbow towards your right knee. Slow, steady movement. Just feeling the stretch travel as you take it side to side. Where are you feeling it at? Deep nourishing breaths here. Take a moment to unwind and then an inversion. With your head below your heart. Settle back into stillness at center. We'll just take 10 deep breaths here. Tips to the mat, step one foot back and then the other. Down dog. We're going to take a slow wave of that spine forward. So come to your tippy toes. Then beginning at your tailbone, ripple through your spine, finding plank pose. And then intentionally lift those hips up to down dog. Exhale, wave your spine through, plank pose, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Release your legs to the mat and press your hips back to child's pose. Breathe in, exhale, round through as though you're coming into cat pose, then lower your hips down through center, Finding your Sphinx pose, so slide those palm forward, elbows underneath your shoulders, lift your heart, shoulder heads draw back. Ground through your hip points. Soften forward, slide, arm, slide palms underneath your shoulders and press your hips back to child's pose. Breathe in. Exhale, round forward into cat pose. 
Breathe in, lower your belly, lift your gaze for cow. Exhale, melt hips to heels, child's pose. Ending our practice the same way we began. Tuck your chin to your chest and slowly roll up. Big breath in, circle your fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, draw your elbows down side to side so they're in line with your shoulders. And then slowly draw one elbow back and then the other, taking it side to side, getting into your shoulders. And exhale, slowly lower and rest the way down. Breathe in, circle fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss. And bring all that love and light down to heart center. Bring thumbs to your sternum to seal that love and light in. Embrace prayer to your third eye. And bow forward, thanking yourself for taking this time to unite your breath with your body, taking care of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this 20 minute morning vinyasa. My question for you, how did this style of yoga feel in your body this morning? How did the flow lead you to feel for your day ahead? Now based off of your response, should you make this style of yoga a part of your morning ritual? My friend, find your beat, your rhythm, your groove, and know that it is something that you can lean into during challenging times. Comment below and share your thoughts. Taking care of that beautiful body of yours. Please throw the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to ensure you get the latest yoga love and self-care practices released each week. So much love from my heart to yours.